Hmm, Black Ops 3. Well, I guess let's give this a go. I mean, you know, apparently snipers now have absolutely no aim assist. So, you know, quick scoping should be impossible. And, you know, red guns still have a ton, but eh, screw it. Let's go with the sniper. See, see what happens. You never know with these games. Oh, oh, that's, that's odd. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Okay. Huh. Wait, wait. You you guys don't start every game like this? <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding around. What's going on, guys? I'm Shorty SX, and, well, no, I don't start every game like this either. But that was a pretty funny one, where I kind of walked out of that spree going like, how do I have five kills? What just happened? Well, as you can see, um, yeah, I mean, you know, no aim assist. Definitely, definitely kind of hurts some shots, but um, overall, not a big deal. In fact, I'm actually kind of happy with it, or I'm actually kind of excited. That was probably the main thing that kind of brought me back. But, uh, <laughs> you know, for those of you who know me, I've been off Call of Duty for a little while, and by a little while, I actually mean something like over a year and a half. So, in many ways, that's actually a great thing, because, well, sadly, you know, I kind of skipped over all of Advanced Warfare. Whether that was good or bad, I don't know. Don't really care, I suppose, at the moment, because... I'm kind of refreshed in a way, like, I jumped into Black Ops 3 and all of a sudden I'm like, you know, this is this is actually pretty fun, I'm having fun with it. And the sniper rifles, I mean, you know, we've talked about aim assist plenty of times, or, you know, if, you're, if you've are if you seen my other videos, we've talked about aim assist plenty of times, but, um, it's, it's quite interesting, actually, how things kind of work out. I mean, you know how red guns still have ridiculous amounts of aim assist, and, um, well, the type of aim assist that kind of goes through walls and can almost follow people through walls, but um, that's getting besides the point. The point is that if I have the like my one um, kind of like wish for this game so far, I would have been like, you know what? Why not just get rid of it for everybody? You know, like level playing field. That would be great. But you know what? Doesn't matter because um, now it's actually really fun, and as you can see, you can actually still get some quite, you know, quite decent shots, especially if you're being sneaky and actually, you know, not just announcing to the enemy like, Hi, I'm over here! Come kill me! I'm gonna try and quick scope you with a sniper that's, you know, super slow and, uh, at the aim assist, but hey! Um, <laughs> that's actually a funny story, like, uh, someone just asked me, like, well, you know, what, what do you think about the, how do you feel this, about the snipers? And, you know, aside of the fact that they are actually kind of fun to use, and as you can see, you can actually do some damage. Um, I had a really fun analogy for it because, um, have you guys seen Battle Royale? It's like this old Japanese, um, uh, it's actually not even that old, but, uh, it's this Japanese movie about a group of high school students who are, you know, deemed very bad by the government or whoever, and as punishment, they get sent to this, uh, deserted little island where they're basically supposed to kill each other and, uh, you know, free-for-all, last-man-standing type of deal. And to make things really fun, um, each one of them is given a backpack with a random weapon in it. So, you know, those weapons could be anything like an actual assault rifle or a handgun or like a knife or like an actual hatchet to something like a, you know, flashlight. And if you picture us, like, you know, like us being the snipers, like, I feel that um, in Black Ops 3 we were given like, you know, like a banana or something. Because, you know, you, you kind of like... Think about it, it's, th it's the same thing, really. Like, you'd be looking at the banana going like, Huh, so so, so, what am I supposed to do with this? Like, should I eat it for the extra potassium? And then, you know, maybe like drop it around a corner and wait for my enemy to like slip on him? And then like, you know, I could like, choke him out with my slightly potassium-empowered muscles? Like, you're not quite sure what to do with it. <laughs> like the same way I felt about the snipers at the very beginning. But, um, it works out. It's It's so, you know, it's so tough that it's actually kind of fun. And, yeah, after a while, I mean, like you'll see with this game, it's it's a struggle. It can definitely be a struggle, and I've had to drop some of my, you know, um, well, what would I call them? self rules or <laughs> little, you know, personal things. Like, for example, the secondary, as you can see right now, is something I've, you know, in my 100 plus whatever videos, like, I think I've almost never used the secondary. Like, it's, unless it was like League Play or something. Uh, I generally don't pull one out, but with this game, you know, because the snipers are pretty slowish, like, you know, you have to stop, the ADS takes a while, it, 
that already kind of makes you really competitive compared to other guns. So, you know, you gotta be tactical. You can't just be running around like, Hey, I'm gonna quick... Oh, wait, I just died. Because, yeah, that, a lot of that's gonna happen. But apart from that, it's actually been pretty entertaining. As you guys see, I'm losing using the Locust over here. But um, by now, I've actually worked my way through all of the snipers. And while this is still my favorite... Um, actually, well, I have a nice little gold camel for it now. Not that I'm really that much of a camel maniac or whatever, but it's nice. It looks pretty. You'll see it later on. But as I was saying, despite the fact that the Locust is probably still my favorite, um, I've actually played with all the sniper rifles. In fact, I have some footage with all the sniper rifles. And they're all very, you know, unique and kind of fun to use in their own way. But the one interesting part has been the fact that I've really had to... Like, rediscover my shot with all them, because, you know, you do notice the lack of aim assist. Like, you know, it always kind of helped slow your aim down when it got close to other people. But if you let your instincts take over and, you know, play smart, as you can see right on cue, you can uh, definitely do some damage. Just don't expect it to happen all the time, because, you know, it's not. And I don't think it's going to happen for anyone, for quite a while at least, until, you know, people get really, really good with the snipers. But that's really the fun part here, because you do have that potential and it if you guys ever saw like you know my old videos on our snipers in call of duty overpowered like you know in the old call of duties um i always kind of took it back to quake and you know the railgun in quake and how actually in quake no one ever complained about the railgun because you know well a everyone could pick it up and see that it's actually not that easy to use and the funny thing is i actually think this is where we're heading with call of duty because it's, you know, you can't really complain about the snipers anymore, and, it, like, it's really funny because, you know, sometimes I see this, like, you know, red gunner in my lobby, and he's, like, you know, doing well and stuff, but, you know, maybe I get a streak with my sniper rifle, and he, like, sees it lying on the ground after he kills me, and he picks it up, and, you know, I see that it's my sniper rifle, and he tries to, you know, get some shots off, and they go all over the place, and... <laughs> and I'm like, aha, there you go, see, it's not that easy, you gotta actually give it some, give it some time practice and hopefully that's kind of where we'll head to because people will actually try it out and see that you know okay wow actually you know if you if you get shot like for example like every time i've got sniped recently or quick scoped or whatever like you know i watched the kill cam and if it was like a nice one i'm like oh wow dude good job like nicely done holy crap <laughs> like i almost want to go and like pat the guy on the back and be like yeah that was a, that was a sweet shot <laughs> Because it, you kind of have this like, oh wow, this guy just did something nice feeling, as opposed to, yeah, you made the fuck, you just shot me with that one shot weapon. And I really hope, you know, that's kind of where we head to, but hey, you know, no reason it can't happen in Call of Duty, right? I mean, it happened in Quake. Hey, there, I guess there are some reasons, but it doesn't matter, guys. I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. I hope you enjoyed some sniping with a side of secondary. And, well, you know, I'm going to try and keep the secondary down, but like I said, it's kind of a necessity at this point. And anyway, um, guys, good to be back. Um, don't get your hopes, you know, astronomically up, but I will try to post some more videos, try to improve your sniping. It's been good, or, you know, it's kind of fun to be commentating and playing Call of Duty again. So, hey, hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.